Um, so, let's just have a read, huh? Yeah. Prep this. I just don't, I really don't like starting it. It makes me feel like a, I feel like a, a bitch, you know? You know what I mean? Keith's kind of bossy, huh? Hmm. His ideas are kind of boring, huh? What, for the film? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, he wants to do it properly. And he's, he's aware that they're boring, but I see what he means. Like, like the Five Oxford Poets was a pretty conventional thing, and it was kind of cool for that. Mm. He's not he's not trying to make art, he's trying to make a documentary. No, that's not what, bother, that's not what bothers Sunday. me, but it would be better to make a documentary about that guy, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Anyway, I just, I never know what voice to read something in, you know what I mean? Put on a voice. Put on a voice, don't use your own voice. Do it in, can you, you do it in your Kentucky, Kentucky voice. That would be silly. Preface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. So I'll do it. Uh-huh. Preface. <laughs> <coughs> Nimbus Raptors click pink. Yeah, no. Spin a recession of spray. Mulch on a donut. Your spoon. Play dry sitting there, holding a sign that says, Please help me, Lise. As if our cares in essence, rotting out of your navel, which is where I feel remotely we should clink travel. Thanks, Claw. All. Oh. It's nice, though. No, it's, it's really cool. nice. <laughs> Pez doth emerge from a salsa, fez oracle, trailering skins, flot sam to an our couch be ventilated, sampled, listed, then mixed clean by potion that accelerates yours and my throat tens, adjustably scheduled, viewability, nowadays, oh my, rabid coneha. Rabid coneha. Alright, we've done this one. Oh, you really think good. I should do it in that voice? Yeah. But it's hard for me to. It's not that different. I don't want it to be like. It's not that different. I know, but I also don't want it to be like. I don't want it to be like I'm taking on a voice and it's funny now, you know. No, people won't get that. They won't because it's not that different from how you you usually sound. Yeah. Yeah. It it just sharpens it a little bit. Do you think we could? uh, I think this should be like a bit slower, you know. Like, I mean, since they tell me about the your spoon. Uh. Okay. Well, imagine people are spooning. Oh, okay. It's like, yeah. <laughs> spoon me, you know? How yeah, you yeah. Back and forth. We but should, it's also like... Uh, we should clink. Spoon me. I I like it when Catherine spoons me. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. So stuff like that. I mean, it was like in the love poem thing. I don't know where it came from, from the translation, you know, like from the talks, but... Okay. Um, We've got a lot to get through today. Yeah, maybe we should move a bit faster, huh? Okay, we've done the next one. But it could be intimate, you know? So yeah, okay. we're kind of the next one. We haven't quite read through it, so why don't we have but, a read through oh, it? You're, you're doing that one, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just read it. Love poem. I should do it in the same voice? Not necessarily. In poker and in pooing, two flushes clear everything up. But in love and in wooing, your blush and my blush seem to just be truly confusing things. I want to pluck yours from your cheek and keep it always on me, perhaps as a sort of rash, to unclasp my palm and see thee and me as in, in a mirror and be abashed, admiring thee. Our blushes are bush fire in Borges' library. I pray for a fire angel to put it out. And a minor one is sent, but he is killed and et by a dust mite. I play myself. The dust mite plays itself. The angel is played by Sean Connery, who has difficulty with the line, she sells seashells to Slobodan Milosevic. I drag kids into a burning house to impress you. Hmm? My twist, the angel plays you. See my twist, your spoon? Okay. Maybe you say, maybe you say that. Okay. You see? I don't see. I don't like how I read that though. Do you? No, I think that's fine. I feel like I'm like putting on too much. But okay, I have to read this one too. I have to do the Rebel Yell now. <laughs> Image. <laughs> you don't have to. Ravish, yo. Helen's on my back as I walk down North Michigan, he pointing out not what pinnacles repaired to quick time's crystal mirror cushion, freed from the pack of cards otherwise lifted, said, Rebel yell! Upon stumbling on, being in the path of the guillotine, sheet lightning healed on an open shield, harboring the essential news, aka adachronic HXII, blipped hot sub, passionately by a plastitane full stop, outside and inside, the dentists excessively frothing because manifested by jo- fucked up JavaScript apprentices, shop, light which Helen gently tricks off his spurs, dog. I love that. That means like his, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Um, but see, this is actually an older version of oh, some of this stuff. Not that one. 
see, it's not really essential. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, which, this is what Here's to misting you up for as long as you're breathing. It's to pulling back the tap and putting it back again. Read this one. Read this version. Here's. Here's, new. here's to the absolute stain that it lay upon. Here's to the white phosphorus and the mysteries of bleach. Here's to neocon, textual obscurity agents in Canton, Ohio. Here's to soon we get there, popping a squat and begging for a cent It's use. like as soon as we get, so here's to soon as we get in there. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I'm really tired. Here's to the reasons why the conference call ended. Here's to the stain that you watched form beneath me. Here's to sorry, the pagination keeps shifting, that's A4 letter for you. Here's to the modulated phone that you spilled. Here's to the crunch and the quick dream for Marshall. Why are you being so messed up this <laughs> one? <laughs> Here's to the HX22 powered commercial ice cream. What, what should we call this? You think, uh, I think, um... Hex2? Well, two, hex two? I think... No, I, I I think HXII. It could be HXII. Yeah. Maybe we could leave that open. Okay. Here's here's, oh, see. here's to your face, copied often, often copied and pasted. Here's to the glowing white staff of the CRS. Here's to filling up while I'm starving my baby. Here's to roping off its claws and swallowing them back. Here's to your taco, my digital meat. Here's to your blisters and the banality of reach. Here's to the pink button on the chip of your sex drive. Here's to the stuff that you, you left on my dinner. You can't. It's, it's funny, right? Okay. But then I want to see, I want to, you need to write something new for this right now. This is my parents' business that they run out of their house. Honestly. <laughs> um, um, okay, what, what did it say in the notebooks? This is where that thing could go. Yeah, um, yeah. Here's to... Funny, just have a look up. Just, just, just have a bit look over the edge. Just stand up a bit and uh, the big guy who observed that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> it's funny though. Yeah. Uh, yes to that. Yes to um something like um Here's to the alleyway I turned into where I found Four, four, four bollards hassling a Dalek called Condor if it's a boy. Antler melt if we flee without bearing to look. Antler melt needs to be a lot longer. Can we make it? Here's the alleyway I turned into to find. Only to find. <laughs> nah, well, what do you think? What are bollards? Bollards. We've been, we've oh, been yeah. talking about them all yeah, yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Hassling a Dalek? A Dalek. A Dalek is. Spell that right? No. Uh, D A L E K. A Dalek is a, a creature, uh, a cyborg creature of Doctor Who, and it looks a bit like a, a bollard. A little bit. People will understand the rest of it. 